Hey guys, how are you today? The camera is sliding down. Did you see that? Holy cow. Okay, wait. There we go. I think I'll keep that in too. I don't think I'm going to edit it out because that's just too funny. <laughs> as soon as I turn it on, it just goes down. Okay. Ah, I'll try to stay on task. So I'm just here with a little bit of Happy Mail Share. I've had it sitting on my desk for a couple of days and um, it's time to actually film the Happy Mail Share and uh, get it off my desk so I can put it away. I've got actually things I want to do with said happy mail. Um, the first one is from Kate. Let's see. Kate. Kate, I am not going to even try and pronounce your last name because I know I'm going to just butcher it like crazy. I'll use your YouTube name instead. This is from Kate the Skate 22. Um, she has her, her own YouTube channel. She sent me some stuff before and um, I believe she is also a member of Crazy Island Family. But go to her channel and show her some love. She sent me some great happy mail. First, she sent me a artist trading card. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And then um, she sent me a bunch of other stuff. Let me get it out of the envelope. Okay. So she had some extra swap, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how to talk today. She had some extra swap stuff from the Crazy Island Family Embellishment Swap, which was arrows. And so she sent me some arrows, which I love. She has these. This must be a punch that she has um, that is really cute. Kate, you're going to have to tell me what punch that is. Out of map, um, it's out of map paper. I love that. And then there's a little tiny wooden arrow. And then there is um, some arrows. They look like sketchy arrows printed on Avery sticker paper. And I'm guessing these, she either, I, I can't tell if she drew these or printed them on there, but look at all those great arrows on Avery, Avery sticker paper. Yeah, I love that. Can't wait to use those. And then she stamped some arrows on some deli paper. And she sent me a bunch of that too. Different kinds of arrows. Look at these. And then some more of these. I love them, Kate. Thank you so much. She also included a matchbook of collage paper. And if you all don't remember, we did that uh, matchbooks of collage papers. Um, in a past embellishment swap in Crazy Island Family. And, um, oh, these are so cute. This is the first time I'm actually looking at it, um, although I knew it was in here. And she sent me a bunch of really great printed, um, um, painted papers, and then some, like that's a bingo, bingo card, and um, all different kinds of fun. There's some graph paper. So, yay, thank you so much, Kate. I appreciate it. I love it. And uh, I'm gonna, I have an idea for using some of this that will be coming up. Um, so look for that in Crazy Island Family only. So if you're a member of Crazy Island Family, you'll see it there. Otherwise, maybe you should join. The link's in the description below. <laughs> All right, and then my neighbor, Jennifer, now see people just, people know me now. She was cleaning out her office and she said, you know, I found a couple things I thought you might like. Well, she found one of these bags. Of course, I said yes to the bag. She says, you know, I was going to throw this away, but I thought maybe you might like it. Well, duh. Thanks, Jennifer. She also found almost a whole entire pack of typewriter paper. <laughs> she says, can you use this, like, onion skin type typewriter paper? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jennifer. I love it. This stuff, you know, is kind of hard to come by. Nobody really sells it anymore. And it's different than vellum or tracing paper. So yeah, love that. All right, then I got a whole entire huge envelope from, let's see, and I'll show you guys the envelope before I show you the con what were the contents. Um, it was from Beth Swalwell. She is Super Beth here on YouTube and she is creating her art barn. If you haven't seen it, it's fabulous. 
um, she sent me a big package of um, Happy Mail, and in it she actually sent my daughter and her boyfriend some Happy Mail for their channel, which is the Blue Glass Jar. Uh, the link will be, hopefully, if I remember, in the description below. Um, they have their own YouTube channel. It's really cute. Um, it will be crafty sometimes, but it's not always. It's focused around them going out on dates and trying new things. So, But it's a fun channel. They're hilarious together on camera. I still want him to teach her Lithuanian on camera because I've heard him do that. She has her mother's knack for languages, which is none. <laughs> it's, it's really... Yeah, the only thing funnier with, would be if he taught me Lithuanian, because, you know, <laughs> it's cute, though. So, but she sent it in this, look at this envelope. The whole entire thing, and I'll cover up Beth's address, but the whole entire thing is just, I mean, it's just fabulous. Oh, and see, there's more pieces of stuff falling out. I just wanted to confirm I had the right Beth, and yes, I do. She's creating the art barn on her property, and it just looks like it's coming along fabulously. Great big open space. Anyway, she sent my daughter and her boyfriend some happy mail in the package, which I gave to them, and they're going to share on their channel. I'm not going to share their happy mail. Um, but she included a bunch of fun things. This is, you know, it's plastic, and I think, isn't this meant for ceilings, like ceiling tiles? I can't wait to make some prints with this on my jelly plate, because I'm thinking... That's going to be fun. There's a bunch of old book text in here, different types. Different, like a whole, ooh, a whole bunch of old book text and bits and pieces, which are going to be great. She also took some of it and it looks like she um, collaged it together. It looks like she has a file folder, mini file folder punch. Look at that, because there's one of those in here. More book text. There's a piece of, um, this is Speedball uh, linoleum that you can carve to make a stamp with, and she actually did carve it and did make a stamp with it. So that's cool. Some more of the mini file folders. There's this piece of plastic. I think this is for, um, you know, when they ship large crates of things, don't they wrap this kind of stuff around it to hold things together? It's like plasticky fiberglass stuff. But it would make great marks um, as a stamp or on the jelly plate. So I can't wait to try that too. Painted A painted bag. There's notes everywhere. Every time I pick up something, there's a new note. Here's some more book text. Like here, I picked this up at one point, and there's, um, there's a note from her. I'm going to set the note aside. Some stamped tissue. I love the color, blue color of this tissue, and it's been stamped with... Some um, Asian text, it looks like, and a few other images, so yay. Some paper clips, really cute ones. Look at the at sign, I love that. Um, this is, I'm not sure. It's fabric, and it looks like it was ironed on to something. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be sticky back fabric. It's actually coming off, but it's really pretty fabric. I'll use it for something. More book text. Oops, sorry. Um, this is a mini, this looks like a mini library card folder. And another um, piece of old book text. And another paper clip. They look like little pigs, the little paper clips. Some gloves in a bottle. Like an invisible pair of gloves. She sent me two of these. I have to try them. So, thank you for that, because I've heard of this. It seems to me this sounds familiar, but I've never actually tried it. Okay, I'll do that one last. Some cards. These may, must be some kind of exercise reminder cards. They're kind of, they're kind of funny. They're cute. And then there's this piece of, hand, it looks like handmade uh, paper, gold and navy blue paper. I love that. This really cool, it's a playing card, but what I love is the back, and that's probably why she sent it to me. Look at the back side. More paper. Um, some homemade and uh, one, it looks like store-bought washi tape. This is a tag. It looks like from a basket, but it's a really fabulous large tag that you could use. 
It would make, be great in a, for a pullout in a junk journal. In fact, I have a junk journal I made that this would work well in. Um, this looks like a hand-painted piece of canvas. Some magazine pages, different ones with different images. And I'm actually, I need to work on some collage art, so I'm going to set those aside. Some more old, mag these are old magazine pages. I don't know what magazine they're from. I don't know, something about photography. I've, I'm gonna have to show them to my daughter. Oh, not all photography, there's saddles there. I saw cameras in here. Yeah, see, cameras, oops. So I'm gonna have to show that to my daughter, Beth. You know she's a photographer. Looks like old, maybe old catalog pages. Um, some interesting envelopes. There looks like a paper origami kimono sort of thing. That's really cool. This really cool printed bag. Some more old book paper. Look at this magazine page with all of this um, iron work on it. I can, you know, I might have to make scan this and make copies of this because uh, I can see bits and pieces of both sides of this um, as collage and some of my stuff. Really cool. Let me set that aside too. Um, here is another old magazine page. I don't know. Things to make and things to do. But I don't know what magazine it's from, but they're really kind of cool some mulberry paper, and then some sheets of old stamps. These are United States stamps. Yeah, that's the Statue of Liberty on it. So they're cool. Thank you so much. Oh, and I forgot about this one. So there's this one that's wrapped in um, this really cool damask tissue paper. And then um, inside was another note, which I'm going to take out. And she has this piece of denim collage that she made where she just layered layers of denim on top of each other to create a pattern and she says she uses it to um, print on her jelly plate she makes this like jean stamp I love that idea Beth and I'm gonna have to try that because I think that's really cool so love it thank you so much everybody for all the happy mail you send me I love it always I am working on my not only my drop paper journal which is filled with happy mail bits and pieces um, but I am going to be working on another journal um, made with the Happy Mail envelopes and cards. Um, sorry, my computer is dinging like crazy. Hold on. Okay. So, I um, appreciate all of you very much. And look at the light. <laughs> Can you tell I'm sitting in front of the window? The line of light straight down the middle of my face. Anyway. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, all of my contact information is in the description below. You can leave a comment on the video. I will get back to you. I usually try to do it within 24 to 48 hours max. And uh, I think that's it for right now. If you want to send me happy mail or you want to send me a product to try and review, my PO box is in the description below, so have at it. All right, I'll see you all later. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Bye.